Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. I'm Shannon. As many of you know, we at Comageddon strive to promote indie publications and lesser known heroes. And so with that, today my friends, I present to you The Black Bat. Upon hearing of a pulp hero named the Black Bat, many claim he's a ripoff of the Bob Kane and Bill Finger created Batman from DC Comics. However, this couldn't be further from the truth, as Batman made his first appearance in Detective Comics number 27 on March 1939. The Black Bat, however, was created by Murray Leinster and made his first appearance in Black Bat Detective Mysteries in 1933. In 1939, Ned Pines introduced a new Black Bat in a series entitled Black Foot Detective. The story followed the crime-fighting career of former district attorney Anthony Quinn. Quinn became the pulp hero known as the Black Bat after being blinded and disfigured by acid from a mob boss in court. Sound familiar? It should. It's an origin story that's been reused over and over for the DC hero Dr. Midnight in All-American Comics number 25 in April 1941 and Batman villain Two-Face in Detective Comics number 66 August of 1942. And later even Marvel Comics used a similar idea for Daredevil in April 1964. Who actually not only borrowed the origin of the Black Bat but also the name and costume from the Lave Gleason publications Golden Age Hero Daredevil, who first appeared in Silver Streak number 6, September of 1940. The original Daredevil, however, now goes by the name The Death Defying Devil in Dynamite Comics. Both the Black Bat and Batman hit the newsstands around the same time, and both claimed that the other was a copy. The threat of lawsuits ended when DC editor Whitney Ellsworth intervened. Ellsworth had once worked for the Black Bat's publisher, and brokered a deal that allowed both characters to coexist peacefully. It is probable that the costumes of both characters were copied from the 1933-34 Black Bat series, which featured costume illustrations of the Black Bat inside the pulps, though actually the Black Bat in the stories was indistinguishable from any other man in his choice of clothing. Batman creator Bob Kane always contended that the only bat-like man he had seen was the villain from the 1930 film The Bat Whispers. However, the Black Bat did have a permanent influence on the Batman. Chief Batman scribe Bill Finger called Kane's attention to the unique gauntlets the rival character wore. Subsequently, similar fins were added to Batman's gloves, which remain to this day. In the first issue, DA Tony Quinn is blinded by acid, thrown by a thug working for Oliver Snape, a crime lord, and believes his career is over until a mysterious woman arrives, Carol Baldwin. She tells him that her father is a small town policeman who is dying from a gangster's bullet and that a surgeon is willing to perform an operation to graft his corneas onto Tony Quinn's eyes so that he can see again. The operation is done in secret, and when the bandages are removed four months later, Quinn finds that he can not only see normally, but he can even see perfectly in darkness too. While blind, Quinn had developed the necessary skills of the blind, sharper hearing, more sensitive touch, and better sense of smell. This however was slightly altered in Dynamite Comics Masks graphic novel, which also tells Black Bat's origin story. But rather than having surgery to fix his eyes, he just discovered that he was light blind, but could see perfectly in the dark. In 2013, Dynamite Entertainment came out with a new Black Bat series, written by Brian Bucciolato and illustrated by Ronan Click A. The new series doesn't pick up with the Black Bat's origins right off the bat. Instead, we're given bits and pieces after Tony Quinn has already donned a mask and began fighting against the mob as a vigilante. It's revealed that this new interpretation of the Black Bat was a mob defense lawyer named Anthony Quinn. His father was a DA and for years had tried to turn Anthony away from the money that came with defending the mob. But it wasn't until his father was on his deathbed laying in a hospital and Anthony decided to turn his life around. 
The mob came at him with a deal, but Anthony chose to tell them no. As he was heading to the hospital to say his goodbyes to his father, the mob abducted him and gave him one last chance to do as they say. When he told them no again, they cut out his eyes. He was then rushed to the hospital, where he found out that his dad had just passed away. It was then he made a vow to change his life and make the mob pay no matter what. A secret organization approached Anthony and offered him new eyes, training, and resources to become an agent for them. Working toward the same end goal, he agreed, and after two years, he was ready. With his new eyes, he could see in different spectrums, especially in the dark. The Black Bat uses dual pistols, but only shoots to injure and never kill, much in the same way as the Phantom. He will also severely injure criminals much in the same way as Daredevil or Batman. If you guys want to learn more about the Black Bat, I highly recommend checking out Dynamite Comics for their issues. I found that Dynamite is doing amazing things with the old Golden Age pop heroes and need to bring these characters back into the spotlight immediately.